Easter Island is one of the most isolated places on Earth. For centuries, it's been the subject of curiosity and speculation. The island is a triangle of volcanic rock in the South Pacific. Early settlers called it the navel of the world. For years, visitors have posed the same question. How and why did early inhabitants carve and transport the massive statues which surround the island? In 1722, with his three ships, Eagles, the Inhoven, and the African Galley, the Dutch Admiral Jacob Rogoveen stumbled across the island on Easter Sunday and named it Easter Island. Chile annexed the island to its territory in 1888. Some 1,800 miles south of the equator, summer hits the island at its height in the months of January and February. Since 1975, islanders have revived the ancient ceremony known as the Tapati, now a two-week-long celebration. In the mid-1970s, locals decided to market the Tapati abroad to bring in more tourists. I believe the image of Rapa Nui is going to be preserved accordingly through the years. It is the only island in the middle of the Pacific, and it is known at the international, South American, and Pacific level as the navel of the world. The Tapati is an ancient celebration which calls on the Polynesian ancestors of today's islanders. Inhabitants and tourists celebrate the Tapati festival in the first quarter of February with a variety of dancing, singing, parading, and sporting in the tradition Taua, a triathlon event meant to remember the pride of their origins. In 1995, Easter Island was named Humanity's Treasure by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization.